Lutz Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Pearl Pirates. Clutch and company, after their last adventure, take time out to write another chapter in Clutch's adventure logbook. A South Sea Island beach is their choice. Better enjoy it, Spinner. Not much time left. My publisher, Tom Page, radioed that we should be home Saturday. Golly, Clutch, I wish we could stay here forever. And Paddlefoot likes it, too. Oh. So do I, Spinner. Well, when your publisher radios you to come home, nothing short of someone in trouble keeps you away. Did you say someone in trouble? Mayor Malachi. But this is a pleasant surprise. But what tempted you to leave your peaceful island of pearls? So much sadness on our island, Clutch. My people are not happy like when you saw them. For many years, we have lived from fishing and pearl diving. My people discovered the secret for growing the most valuable of all pearls, this giant black pearl that glows in the dark. I have heard about them. One black pearl is worth as much as 20 white ones. Golly, a black pearl! For you, young one, keep it always for health and happiness. For me? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm glad you found us, Mayor Malachi. We were going to leave tomorrow. I beg you to stay, Clutch, please. My people are restless and afraid. The oysters from our pearl beds are disappearing. Hundreds of them have vanished. We believe it is an old superstition come true. Ease your mind, sir. We're staying. OK, Spinner? Golly, you bet, Clutch. Maybe my wish will come true. May the God of health and happiness bless you both forever, Clutch. My outrigger boat is just ahead on the beach. Outrigger? Like the native outriggers I've seen on TV? Right, Spinner. Safest boat ever made. There it is, Clutch, on the beach. And that's my son, Prince Malachi. You boys should be good friends. Welcome. I thought you would never come. This is Clutch Cargo, his little pal Spinner and Paddlefoot. You've grown since I last saw you, Prince. Thank you. I am an experienced pearl diver now. Golly, will you teach me to dive for pearls? I will be very happy to show you. Whoa, whoa. You too, Paddlefoot. Hang on, Spinner. This surf is rough. Now that we're outside the surf, we can raise our sails. Keep ho! Keep ho! They make good sailors, Mayor Malachi. But now, let's try to solve your problem. Our biggest problem is to stop the mysterious robber from stealing our pearl oysters. Five of our best pearl divers went down three days ago. Only two of them returned. The other three were lost. The two who came back told of seeing a monster fish. We call it a pui pui. It opened big jaws and scooped out pearl oysters from the ocean floor. Did anyone try to follow it to find out where it went? No, they were all too frightened at its mammoth size. An old superstition says, when volcano erupts, Pui Pui will come to plunder and steal from my people. We have heard many small rumblings from volcano. That was when pearl oysters began to disappear. Then we saw Pui Pui. Sounds fishy to me, but let's wait and see. There isn't long to wait, Clutch. Behold our beautiful island. Is that your home, Prince? Yes, Spinner, our island of sunshine and tropical fruit. Say, do I have to call you Prince? No, you are my friend. Call me Joe. Uh-oh, we're in for it. That volcano's loose. We'll be burned by the ashes. Can Clutch and company escape? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Pearl Pirates. You remember last time Clutch and company were on their way to Mayor Malachi's Island to find out who was stealing their valuable black pearl oysters. They had almost reached the island when suddenly... Everybody get in the water. Now we'll turn the boat over and get under it. Swim underneath. Very quick thinking, Clutch. We might have been burned to death. Listen, the rumbling, it stopped. That was quite a shower. Come on, gang. Let's turn the boat over and get going.
That is my daughter Leilani waiting for us. But I wonder where the rest of the villagers are. Oh, Father, Pooey Pooey, the monster fish came right up to the shore. Everyone saw it and ran to the hills. Something must be done. That's why my wonderful friend Clutch Cargo is here. Clutch, this is little Leilani, grown up to be a beautiful lady. How do you do? And this is Spinner Leilani and Paddlefoot. Aloha. Welcome to our home. Thanks from all of us, Leilani. By the way, whose ship is that coming into the harbor? That is the inter-island freighter owned by Juan Dominguez. He and his first mate, Harlow, take our pearls to market. It is only lately that our pearl oysters have disappeared. Without pearls, we can no longer make our living. Looks like they may be headed this way. Yes, strange. They are not due until day after tomorrow. Meanwhile, aboard the inter-island freighter, binoculars are pointing toward shore. What did I tell you, Harlow? Those meddling strangers have landed. So I see, Governor. We'd better find out who they are. See, si, Harlow. We will go ashore. They dropped anchor and they're coming ashore. Leilani, you and the boys go on to the house. We'll be right along. Yes, sir. Greetings, Senor Mayor. Greetings to you, Captain Juan and Harlow. Meet my friend Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo? I have heard of you. You are the writer of the Adventure Logbook. My book seems to have gotten around. You have arrived two days early. Why? We became worried about you when the volcano erupted. We stopped to see if we could help. By the way, how many bushels of pearls do you have for us? Not nearly as many as our agreement calls for. You have been short the last two times. Senor Mayor, this is your last chance, or... He has two days to get them, and he'll have them. Senor Cargo, that is very big talk. Clutch Cargo is a very big man. Good luck, my friends, and <laughs> adios. Unless I miss my guess, we're in for some trouble from those two. What kind of person can this be? What danger awaits Clutch and company when they again meet Juan Dominguez and Harlow? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. time, Clutch and company with Mayor Malachi and Joe met Leilani, who told about seeing Pui Pui, the monster fish. Captain Juan Dominguez and Harlow came ashore from their inter-island freighter to snoop and threaten Mayor Malachi. Is there a map of the island? Yes, Clutch, at the house. Good. I'd like to see it. Just thought I'd like to see the lay of the land. Here is the map, Clutch. This is our beach in the center. The volcano is there on the left. The pearl beds are just the other side of the volcano in that bay. Good. I'd like to look around. Say, where are the boys? Right here in the trophy room. Care to see it? Golly, look at that baby squid. I caught that one when I was just a little boy. And this one was washed up on shore. <laughs> what is it, Paddlefoot boy? <laughs> oh, no! He thinks that's a real cat. <laughs> that's a catfish, Paddlefoot. Gee, Clutch, what a swell trophy room. And look, Joe told me that was an electric eel. Plenty of electricity from one of those. The bigger the eel, the stronger the power. That one looks like a 40-volt eel. You put 10 of those together, and the electricity would light up a baseball park. We keep many of them alive in our tank. We put them in the water where the pearls are. They stop the big fish from eating our oysters. You've done a great job with your trophy room. But there's another big job to do. Shall we look over the island? Anytime you're ready, Clutch. And so they start along the beach, 
headed in the direction of the hill. Mayor Molokai shows them the way, and before long, they reach the top. There are the pearl beds, and that's where we first saw the Pui Pui fish. Well, there's no Pui Pui now, but what's Captain Juan's ship doing there, near the point? He thought he'd gone to some of the other islands. That is strange, Clutch. I told you he is not due here for two more days. I think I'll go back and get some underwater equipment. I want to see those pearl beds. Then I will stay. We keep a large flag here on the hill to warn our people about Pui Pui. I will watch. If I see the monster fish, I will wave the flag in warning. Good idea. Spinner, Joe and Paddlefoot can come with me and watch for your signal. Back to the house goes the group. Paddlefoot in the lead, but... Uh-oh, a giant clam. Stay away, Paddlefoot. Get away from that thing. Clutch, I can't see Paddlefoot at all. He's... he's disappeared. Here, Paddlefoot. Come on, boy. Clutch, he doesn't answer. Do you suppose... I hope nothing has happened. Follow his tracks. Look, Clutch, on the beach. A giant clam! Mm, Paddlefoot's tracks stop right here. He's in the giant clam! He's in the giant clam! Paddlefoot inside that giant clam. Can they save him? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Pearl Pirate. You remember last time Clutch and Company discovered Captain Juan Dominguez's inter island freighter anchored just off Volcano Point near the valuable pearl beds. When they started for the house, Paddlefoot ran ahead and. Quick, Spinner. You and Joe get that piece of driftwood. <laughs> sure, it's strong, but, but maybe. When the shell opens a little more, slide that piece of driftwood between. Got it, Clutch. Do you see Paddlefoot? Sure do, Spinner, and he's okay. I was close. Clutch and the boys, with Paddlefoot, push the rubber boat into the surf and start rowing for the bay. Remember, Mayor Molokai is on top of that hill with his flag. He'll warn us by waving it if he sees the monster fish Pui Pui near us. And if we see the mayor waving the flag, we'll pull the rope. Good boys. Keep your eyes open. We'll head around the point. Meanwhile, on the point, near the volcano... Good. They have passed the point. Soon they will be at the pearl beds. Then we will have work to do. Not too much farther now. There it is. That's where we dive for pearls. Remember, Joe, your father's on the hill. Watch for his pooey pooey warning. And Spinner, hold the signal line. Got it, Clutch. Good luck. Thanks, Spinner. Here goes. Wow. Look at that trench in the sand. Pooey pooey would have to be a monster to make one that big. Looks like it was made with a bulldozer. Meanwhile, Spinner and Joe see some odd fish swimming near the boat. And for a moment, forget to watch for the warning from the hill. Frantically, Joe's father waves the flag. He sees the monster Pui Pui fish. <laughs> hey, say, look. There's a funny one. <laughs> this is a battlefoot. He probably sees another catfish. <laughs> No, he doesn't, Spinner. He sees the warning flag. My father, he sees the pui pui. Pull on that line, Spinner. Pull! I, I am pulling. Why doesn't Clutch answer? Clutch! Clutch! Oh, look, Spinner, a giant fin cutting through the water. It's the pui pui. And it's headed right for Clutch. Wow, that was close. I'll get him with my spear gun. Hit him, but it sounded like he's wearing armor plate. He's had enough clutch. Look, he's headed the other way. When my spear hit the Pui Pui, it sounded like the side of a sardine can. Look at the end of this spear. 
see, Clutch. Maybe he's not a real fish. That's what I'm beginning to think. Your father is signaling, Joe. He knows we're all right, so you two take the boat into the beach. I'm going to look around Captain Juan's ship. Clutch dives back into the water and swims deep, hoping Captain Juan or Harlow will not see him. Once on board, Clutch moves quietly around the old tub. It's awfully quiet. I wonder if anyone's on board. Suddenly, he stops and listens. Sounds like water running. If I can open this hatch carefully and... Wow! Oysters! Thousands of them. So this is where Mayor Malachi's black pearl oysters are going. Right, Governor. But if I was you, I'd close that hatch and say nothing about it. This knife's pretty sharp. I'd hate to open you like an oyster. No one ever pulled a knife on me and got away with it. And this won't be the first time. A secret trap door. Will Clutch get out? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and the Pearl Pirate. You remember last time, Clutch had a narrow escape with the Pui Pui fish which he suspected might be a mechanical fish. Feeling that Captain Juan might be the one responsible for oyster stealing, he boarded the ship to look around when suddenly... Phew, that was quite a drop. What a spot to be in, 20 feet below deck, surrounded by walls and no door. <laughs> Too bad, Clutch Cargo. But you are with the oysters. That is what you came to find. You will stay there forever. And you'll be getting the last of Mayor Malachi's black pearl oysters. It is unfortunate that you cannot say goodbye to your friends before we scare them from the island with our man-made Pui Pui monster fish. Oh, I knew that wasn't a real fish. Adios, Senor Cargo. Talk to the little oysters. Maybe they will help you get out. <laughs> Such seems hopelessly trapped. No possible way to get out. Then suddenly... I've got it. Oysters have to have fresh seawater, and this water is fresh. There's no door, and I can't climb on, but I can float out. Where's that sea valve that lets the water in? There it is. Full force. Made it. Clutch swims from the other side of the boat to Volcano Point and races to the beach. Mayor, you and Joe bring me ten electric eels. Wire them together. We need plenty of electric power. Spinner, help me with this rubber suit so I won't get shocked by those eels. Gee, Clutch, you look like a man from Mars. Best protection you can have in the water. We wire the ten biggest eels together. Just pull the tank in the water. Here goes. Wish me luck. holding the electric eels by the wire. Suddenly in front of him, he sees the monster Pui Pui fish, its jaws open wide, scooping oysters from the sand. as a flash, Clutch pushes the electric eels into the mouth of the monster fish. Look, here comes Clutch. It won't be long now. Stand back. You'll see what your pooey pooey fish really is. Hey, a two man sub made you look like a fish. And here are the men responsible for the pooey pooey scare. Just two Polynesian pearl pirates. Okay, he's got enough oysters to open to keep them out of mischief for a long time. We can never thank you enough, Clutch and Spinner. You have saved us all from a terrible fate. And proved that superstitions are only imaginary. And added to our trophy collection. And so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and the Pearl Pirates. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot.